Why hasn't he texted me back? We'll return by calls. I must not be pretty enough. Why can't I have green eyes? Why does my nose look like this? Why can't I have bigger boobs? Why do I have to be so short? Why are my teeth so big? I wish I had smaller cheeks. I wish I had a bigger butt. I'm ugly. Whoa! Stop right there. No more. Know that beauty isn't just about physical looks. I'm a huge believer that beauty is more than what you see on the outside. But for this video, I wanted to focus more on the physical aspect of beauty. Yay! When I was back in middle school, I used to have really low self-esteem. My best friend used to have all these different guys trying to talk to her and the guys wouldn't even notice me. My low self-esteem began at that point because I was basing my beauty on whether a guy gave me attention or not. As I entered high school, my self-esteem was at rock bottom. I felt like I was the ugliest person on earth. I would constantly pick at myself. I would look in the mirror and just say, Ugh, you're so ugly. Why do you look this way? Why can't you look that way? This went on for years until I graduated high school. I finally realized that my, my beauty, beauty is, is not, not dependent, dependent on, on someone, someone else's, else's opinion. opinion. Don't base your beauty on whether a guy is pursuing you or not. Don't base your beauty on whether the guy that you like likes you back or not. Don't allow others' opinions to define how you feel about yourself. If someone tells you you're ugly and you keep repeating it to yourself like I am ugly, I am ugly, I am ugly, I'm ugly, I'm ugly. You're only going to see yourself as an ugly person, which is a complete lie. As long as others define who you are, you'll be lost and without identity in this world. Don't believe what the media may be trying to push on you or what the haters or what the guys have told you. Don't believe any of that. Don't let their opinions dictate if you're beautiful or not. If you keep viewing yourself by the opinions that others are saying about you, you will never be completely satisfied and happy with yourself. It's time to just brush it off and keep going. As long as you know who you are and as long as you walk in that, no one can stop you. No one can knock you down. The fact that you are alive, that already speaks volumes about your beauty and who you are and how valuable you are to this world. No matter what you look like, you are beautiful. You are a masterpiece. We live in a world filled with unique individuals. Therefore, there is nothing wrong with looking completely different. Beauty doesn't come in one little box. Beauty comes in different shapes, sizes, colors, languages, cultures. You are unique and you have been created this way for a reason. You don't look like Kim Kardashian because that's Kim Kardashian and that's her thing. Now what is your thing? As long as you keep focusing on what you want from someone else, you will never be fully satisfied in who you are and you will never reach the full potential of who you were created to be. So stop focusing on the person next to you. Start embracing what you've been blessed with. Start being grateful. No, no more complaining. complaining. No, no more putting yourself down. down. So here's my challenge to you. That every day that you wake up, you look in the mirror, and you pick something that you're thankful for. Look at the shape of your eyes, look at the length of your eyelashes, the thickness of your eyelashes, the shape of your eyebrows, the shape of your nose, your jawline, the way your lips are shaped. Look at your body, look at yourself, and start looking at the beautiful things about yourself. Now, if you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, there is nothing beautiful about me. Be thankful that you can see yourself. Be thankful that you have hands. Be thankful that you have feet, that you have legs, that you can move on your own, that you can go to the mirror by yourself without any help. Start there, but start today. Start looking at yourself differently. I challenge you to do this for a month, to just be thankful. You will begin to see life on a more positive note and you will begin to accept yourself. 
won't rely on the opinions of others to define whether you're beautiful or not. You are beautiful no matter what anybody says. So accept it, believe it, and be grateful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. I got an Instagram, so you can follow me on Instagram too. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!